we live in a very social world. Um, a lot of people like to go out and have a drink and go out for a meal. And whenever you have a stoma, that's not um, excluded at all. Um, so just a few um, thoughts around the effect that alcohol can actually have on your stoma. So what some of my patients have told me is um, just the difference between different wines. For instance, red wine can cause you to have looser bowel motions. Um, lagers, anything with fizz in it can cause you to have a lot more wind. Um, if you think about some of the sparkling wines as well, that would be Prosecco or something like that, would definitely cause you to have a lot more wind. So you might have to empty your pouch more frequently um, if the output has loosened because of the red wine or if it's filled you full of wind. Whenever you think about beers and lagers, they can actually be quite um, gassy as well. So therefore they will cause you to have some more wind produced within your pouch too. So really the most important thing is to ensure that you drink in moderation and that you're able to manage your stoma uh, and your pouch without any problems at all. But a really important part would be that um, alcohol has a dehydrating effect on the body. Um, so it would be really important that you continue to drink water uh, mixed in whenever you are having an alcoholic drink. And especially if you have an ileostomy and your fluid levels can fluctuate and dehydration could be a big problem for you, you should really be a lot more alert to the dehydrating effects of alcohol and to try and prevent that from happening.